what's going on with all my money motivated stars. And I want to talk about the saying, the money burning your pocket. Cause I heard that a lot. Of, <laughs> I heard that so much growing up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say it like how people be saying it. The spiritual meaning behind that phrase is, cause man, it's always a spiritual meaning behind anything you can say. Cause saying spiritual meaning behind something is just, it's just like saying. Uh, the deeper meaning of what you've heard, you know what I mean? Not just the surface, you know, because when somebody say that money burning your pocket, it's just basically to a person who's thinking like matrix wise, like you just can't wait to spend that money, can't you? You know what I mean? This just the surface level, the matrix level, matrix level of what that means. But it's when it comes to the spiritual meaning, which is the deeper meaning of a, a phrase like that, it's just. The money doesn't literally, like, we already know, the, the money doesn't literally burn your pocket, but a lot of people get their phrase thrown at them because if this, if that phrase is even getting tossed at you, it means somebody's looking at your actions and they're watching you spending your money at a rapid uh, pace or they're watching you wanting to spend your money. Every store you go to, you know what I mean? You got to buy something from here, buy something from there. You probably don't even really want nothing from there. It's just the fact that you got the money, so you want to spend it. And that's why a lot of people are spiritually, uh, well, I ain't going to say cursed because you always can reverse it because it's always a mental thing. It goes back to the saying, they're saying what, right, I just, what I just said, it goes back to the saying, uh, the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. And I'm gonna break it down because when it comes to people wanting to spend their money, spend their money, spend their money, a lot of people are not used to having money. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, your mind and your body is gonna only identify with the reality that was created for it. Whether you created it or whether uh, somebody else created it, your parents created it, because they the ones who create our reality before we get the chance to, you know what I mean? They're the ones who give us our vocabulary, whether they cussing or they not cussing, you know what I mean? You will be able to tell it from the household, especially if you're a teacher, you know what I mean? So our parents create our reality first, and then the television, you know, then the school, you know, we really have nothing to do with creating our reality until we get old, uh, conscious enough to know and to think, till our brain develops. So in the meantime, in between time, if you come from a family, that doesn't really value money, doesn't teach you the value of money, you're always gonna get that saying thrown at you because if you're a person not having money, you're not used to having money, your body recognizes that. You know what I mean? Say if you grow up uh, very poor from the age, till you, till you get here until the age of 14 or 15 or 17, and, you, and you're not used to having any money in your pocket, if you can go in a scratch off for like five thousand dollars and nine times out of ten because we have some exceptions that people you know what i mean they get money they just turn up a new leaf and they make something happen with it but 90 percent of the population i'm gonna say 95 if they was to receive their money five thousand dollars at uh 17 they would do so much to quickly spend their money their money would be burning their pocket you know what i'm saying burning their pocket and they would be probably broke in the next week or next two weeks because that's what they reality identifies with them being broke you know what i mean when the when the universe is doing it or your body is doing it your mental is doing it it's not i ain't gonna say it's not purposely doing it it's not doing it out of ill intent it's doing it because it wants you to receive the reality that you're used to receiving so that's why we're telling people you know what i'm saying listen to affirmations and listen to different things because we have to reprogram our mind if we grew up less fortunate you know what i mean and to go to the rich people just just because just, that's a notice you know what i mean this might not stand for everybody but it's going to resonate who we need to resonate with all the people you grew up in school with who came from uh money you know what i mean it's not too many of them people who ain't still doing successful to this day just look at it, you know what I mean? Look at, if you gotta do a project, this, this is a school project I'm giving y'all. If you gotta just, not even say pocket watch nobody, but if you just really wanna uh, put it into a good perspective, 
look at the majority of the people who came from broken homes or messy homes or toxic homes or so-called broke homes, you know what I mean? 90% of those people are still living that way. You know what I mean? They may have jobs and all that, but they're not living like, they living how you basically thought they would live. You know what I'm saying? And all the uh, wealthier children, they're living kind of the same way. You know what I mean? They have, they probably working too, but they still ha they have better jobs. You know what I mean? They have a better overall mindset, like I said, due to what they was raised up on. You know what I mean? That's why they saying goes around, you know? It's a lot of sins that go around that we don't even uh, look at the meaning to. But yeah, their money is gonna burn your pocket. But a lot of people feel like they don't have uh, vices. They be like, okay, I don't smoke, I don't drink, you know? I don't uh, do any type of drugs. I don't have vices, you know? But shopping can be a vice. It ain't too many women that I didn't talk to not to ask them what they like to do and shopping wasn't one of them, you know what I mean? Cause shopping releases, cause it all goes back, like I said, that same chemical that everybody talks about that goes, releases in your brain. Dopamine, happens when you smoke, do drugs, drink, you know what I mean? Even meet, the, meet a new person, you know what I mean? Having sex, that same chemical get released when you shopping, you know what I mean? You online, you see this bright, shiny item, you know what I mean, females. <laughs> so you order it, or you see this bra, this dress, you order it. And the whole anticipation of that dress getting there, dopamine uh, dopamine is releasing all the way until you get the uh, dress. You know what I mean? So when you open it, open that package, more excitement, more dopamine is being released while you open the package. Especially when you put it on, it's more dopamine released. And when you finally wear it, it goes away. That's why a lot of women gonna buy a couple more items after they buy that. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's, it's an addiction. Like, it, it's, it's not too many people you can find in America who not addicted to something. Like I said, whether you don't even like to shop, you like food, that's an addiction. Like I said, when people get to dancing, when they can get some food, you know, that's dopamine release. You getting excited about, you, you excited already about some stuff that you're finna go get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's an addiction. You don't even have it yet. You know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, like a lot of people got to realize, man, we living in a world, consume, cause for real, like consumerism, that's an addiction. If you like to consume, 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 you are addicted to consuming. You consume stuff every other week or every week. You know what I mean? It's very, very frequent. So people got to understand that changing your mindset is all a part of this game. That's why they really made it how they made it you know what i mean even when it comes down to a lot of stuff i'll make that in another video because that's gonna be goddamn about 20 more minutes but yeah everybody is addicted to something a lot of people need to change their mindsets about money because like i said even when you've seen people i used to watch this show i forgot what it was called it was a lot of people uh it was about a lot of people winning the lottery and they would show where those people were today, or they'll just show a lot of those people losing the money that they had, you know what I mean? I remember this one story about this guy, I think he won a million dollars, and he vested like $900,000 back into uh, a corporation. You know, it's just it's like like Bitcoin, like how you know how you invest in Bitcoin before it was big. And people a lot need a lot of donations so they can uh, fund their corporation. Then when they get popping, you receive a return. So that's what he had did, but it it didn't work out. You know what I mean? It didn't work out like Bitcoin. So he ended up losing like nine hundred thousand dollars. And I forgot what he did with the rest of the money, but he was broke like after a year because your mind is programmed that way. It don't matter. You can win. I swear you can win fifty million dollars. If your mind is not programmed to keep that, or you were never taught budgeting, that's not even in your vocabulary. Get money is why I say a so called fool and his money will part ways. I wouldn't call people fools. I just call people, you know what I'm saying, a product of the matrix. We was taught not to, they don't teach you budgeting in school. Like everything we needed to know, they didn't teach us in school. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to us to teach ourselves. But when it comes down to it, people got to know it's spiritual, you know. It's about your mind and how you was programmed, how you was raised. If you didn't see nobody in your family really putting up money, like I said, it's exceptions. It's probably 5% of people 
who didn't grow up with this and grow up with it. You know what I mean? They had that, that burning desire. You know what I mean? Depending on what type of struggle you went through. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people got abused and all that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people's mindset, it may trigger that same trauma response, may have triggered them to really step away from all this bull BS. You know what I mean? But some people, when they got that tra traumatic experience, it may cause them to be uh on a lower vibration you know what i'm saying really not want to go get no money just you know what i'm saying just coast by in life so that's why i say it's, it's a different percentage of people who actually came uh came about that you know what i mean because it was one it was one point in time in my life where i was receiving the most money i've ever received in my life and uh just being 100 y'all i know it, sound, it might sound crazy but it ain't even feel normal you know what I'm saying? It didn't feel like a normal thing. It felt so unreal, but it was real. You know what I mean? And sometimes we can fight that, and that'll block our blessings. You know what I mean? I'm telling y'all, it's real. If you ain't never experienced, you gonna be probably able to. It probably won't resonate with you. But if y'all know what I'm talking about, just let me know in the comments, man. I can't be out. I can't be out here alone. You know what I'm saying? On this, cause I know. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's a different feeling. You like, damn, man. Is this real? <clears throat> like I said, a lot of people will stop their blessings by thinking in those type of manners, you know what I mean? Just when this when when this stuff get thrown at you or you start prospering, just say I deserve this. You know what I mean? Don't think no other way about it. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> just the quickest you get it, the quickest you can lose it, just about just off your mindset. For real, you will check yourself out of a lot of money. And a lot of things that's meant for you, but you thinking it ain't meant for you because the way you was programmed and this this system in this world and told you you don't deserve this and you put to work hard and go to a job and give all your time and energy to get what you just got you know what i mean so you're thinking that's the only way you can get it that's the way your mind's gonna shift back into gear you're like man this money i don't deserve it. i'm gonna go spend this money and i gotta go work hard for this money you know what i mean and then you're a product of you know your uh, surroundings or what they wanted you to be a product of that's why when it came down to that, uh, you can see it in today's time. Just like the video I made about Donald Trump and I showed y'all that clip. <laughs> he said he get in the office. He ain't gonna cut the hours and raise the pay. He just gonna uh, take the taxes off your overtime. So this, this obviously he telling people he want people to work more and be slaves, you know what I mean? Like, okay, how can I get them to work more without complaining? Just cut the taxes off when they need to get overtime. Give them all that money. But you got to get overtime to do it, to receive that benefit. Because <laughs> they building slaves. They not building independent thinkers. You know what I'm saying? So when they come down to it, man, just keep that in mind, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button on this video. And y'all share this video. So people need some awakening when it comes to why they can't keep money in their pocket. You know what I mean? You got to program yourself to keep money. You know, if you're not a program or you want to talk, the right way to keep money. That's why a lot of people get accountants. A lot of these, think these rappers, think these rappers ain't got accountants and they got people, you know what I'm saying, that's holding their money, they ain't putting their stuff in funds. That's why a lot of these rappers who not broke, that's why they still successful. And you see 90% of rappers go broke because of that reason. It don't matter how much money they receive, they will lose their shit. They, Cause a lot of these rappers came up for nothing too. You know what I mean? Like some of them didn't, some of them just had money, and, but a lot of them, like the little babies and all this stuff, man. They got you gotta keep accountants, bro. Like you will go broke. You know what I'm saying? Even though they got probably accountants stealing some money and all this stuff too. Like they still figure out a way to keep some money through discipline because we was not taught it. So people gotta understand, man. Change your mindset, shift your mindset, and just know you are deserving of what you uh, asking for. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody tell you ain't deserving of what you asking for. Uh, let them tell you what way you got to go about, you know what I'm saying, getting your blessing. So everybody going to have an opinion. It's not going to be the opinion you want. You know, <laughs> it's not. It's going to be what how they see life, you know what I mean, and what they deem. A lot of people feel like they got to work hard for this and that, and it's not meant to be that way. If it was meant for us to work hard, like, they, like the saying going around, we got to hustle just to eat, you know what I mean? Yeah, it sounds very, very smart and logical in the Matrix, but we had to hustle to eat fruits and food literally wouldn't grow on trees like how they say we growing up money don't grow on trees shit fruit do 
why the fuck we gotta pay for it and go hustle for it when it was not designed that way? If it was designed that way, the fruits would literally be locked up. You would have a wooden, and it would be something nature built to lock it up, so you could un unlock it and ch achieve the, the fruits. You know what I mean? But it was it, fruits. Shit was everywhere. It's still everywhere on some of these. Uh, so when you go to Hawaii and a lot of these shit, coconuts growing on trees. <laughs> You were, you was a hustle for that. If any hustle you supposed to be doing was climbing up that coconut tree and grabbing that bitch off. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing the bananas. There was no hustle. This this is slave life that we live in. And people are so programmed and normalized with it. Well, this is life we live in, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just people ain't got no spine and they wanna keep on doing it because like I said, it won't be no unity when it comes to like taking something back. People don't uh care about taking it back. They just wanna just okay. I'm just gonna do it. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. Uh, share the video, and y'all be blessed and walking in smoke.